Good morning, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Decryption, and how the devil are you all doing today? I hope you are well. Today, in my first UE tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an automated door, just like on screen now, in under 10 minutes. So, let's go. So first I'm going to create a blueprint class in my content browser uh, at type of actor. I'm going to call it automated door. I'm going to open this up uh, just like that. Then I'm going to go and find my geometry for whatever door I want, which I know I have a warehouse door, which is what I'm going to use from the vicinity pack. And I've dragged it out to the wrong screen. It keeps doing that. I'm going to drag it out to here. Perfect. And I know my pivots are really wrong on it. I don't know why some of them really are. So I'm just going to position it there. I know I need to scale it up a bit, so I'm just going to scale up like that. Perfect. I'm going to go back to my root element. I'm going to add a component of type box collision. And I'm going to call it a trigger. There we go. In the trigger, I'm going to scroll down on the events. After, actually first, I'm going to drag it out to the width I want. Because what the trigger will do is when you hit it, it will make the door animate, basically. And move to where you want it to be. Uh, so just make the extents to whatever you want and behind it as well as when you leave it so because you don't want it closing on you then on the component begin overlap of the trigger I'm going to click plus I'm going to cast it as the type of whatever your player is you don't have to do that you can cast it as your NPC or whatever you want even like a clap trap drawing I'm going to drag off from that again and play sound at location like so. I'm going to find my sound asset that I want to use, which I know is called Hydraulic. Boom, I'm going to drag it in. I have no idea where I got the Hydraulic sound from. I just had it in one of my packs, so I bought it, so I'm pretty sure I can't distribute it. I'm going to drag my door in, into here. I'm going to drag off from the door, and I'm going to do Get Relative Location. And I'm going to drag from that into the location. Now when we hit it, it will play a sound at the door. Perfect. From that, I'm gonna drag off and do add timeline. We're on two minutes, not too bad. Slide timeline. And I'm gonna click into it and I'm gonna add a float. I'm gonna call it slide amount. I'm gonna set the length to be one. You can set this length to whatever you want. And I'm gonna add two keyframes. The first keyframe will be at time zero, value of zero. And the second keyframe will be time one of value one. If you want it to be bigger, just set the time to be longer. You don't really need to touch the value. The value is fine. So save and compile, cross the timeline off, perfect. I'm going to make the play at sound at location go to the play at start instead. From the update, I'm going to leave the update, I'm going to do the slide amount, I'm going to go lerp vector, boom, and a lerp, this is going to basically fade between two vectors, so we need two vectors of start and open positions, or close and open positions. So I'm going to create a variable, called it door open position, I'm going to set it to public by clicking the little eyeball. I'm going to come back to the boolean and I'm going to set it of type vector just like that, just a standard variable, don't use an array. And I'm going to duplicate that variable. I duplicate that variable and call it door close position. So in my case, the door is already closed when you go into it, so it's going to start off as closed. So I'll drag it into A and I want it to go to the open position. So I'll drag it into B. And now this loop will nicely fade between two of them. So I'm going to drag off from my door over here. I'm going to put set relative location like so. I can probably drag these in actually. They don't need to be that far away. And then I'm going to drag the new target into the new target. I'm going to drag the update into that one. And that should be it for a nice little door. So save, compile, drag away. I'm going to go back to my classes. I'm going to drag my automated door out. I'm going to rotate that bad boy like so going to center align it because we're on three minutes which is not too bad I've duplicated it perfect so click on your door now you see we've got these two variables that we need to populate so go to your door in your details and copy the location this is basically where it's going to start and paste this into the closed position because the door is currently closed then go into the warehouse again at the door in my case and drag it up down left right whatever you want it to do diagonal if you really want it to go and copy the location and this is just a dead basic door and paste that in control Z actually make that go back there we go and then set this in the on the root again on your open position paste just like so so when we click play we run up to it it moves down and we can get through perfect and as you can see there there's a slight glitch and it keeps doing that so we need it to close when we come out of it which is dead simple to do from our current framework. So we come in 
and all we do is we go back to our viewport, click our trigger and add a end overlap. You can also just do it in here, but yeah. Copy the cast if you've got one slash whatever you've got on the other actor, everything you needed to do. Perfect. And then we're going to play a sound at a location again, just like this. So drag, get rid of you. We can just duplicate you down there to save some variable time. Drag it into the sound. And then this time, all we're going to do is drag it from the sound to the reverse from end. Save, compile, let's try it. Down and up, there we go. In under five minutes, six minutes, you've now got a door that opens and closes. So just as an example, here's another door I've done. See, I've just done the same thing, but just made it go twice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a quick little tutorial. If you've got any suggestions for little tips you'd like to see, let me know. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.